Hey guys, welcome back. So, I apologize that I haven't been able to update you guys much, but I wanted to check in today and let you guys know what was going on. Unfortunately, I didn't get to film a vlog of the Derby. I was just so swamped this weekend with the Derby and the vet and whatnot that I didn't get to film during the traveling process, but I do have um, some clips of my jump round that I will throw into the vlog today. But I'm trying to get some things set up today because we are actually going to the Riga combined test that I have vlogged about before. So, so to kind of recap um, what um, happened in the last four days or so since I filmed the last vlog, um, we went to the Derby. Doppler was great. Actually, we should go say hello to him. Doppler was such a rock star, and he was so calm and not anxious. Hi, hey, buddy. Hi. So, overall, it was a super great outing with him. I was super excited to see him be chill and, um, happy. And he felt amazing so those are all awesome things and actually he won the novice division which was super it was a pretty small um turnout but still super fun and um i'll throw our jump video jump round in right here but he was super fluid and we had really great pace going and i was just really happy to go out and have some fun so I'll show you guys that jump around now. So coming back um, to what else has been up this week is uh, the vet came out for the second round of spring injections, which again, I kind of had to handle the whole day. So I didn't have a whole lot of time to um, show you guys that process this time, but it was kind of the similar to last time we did jogging and evaluating um, any, you know, positive lameness. And we had already addressed that Doppler needed his fetlocks done. So we did his fetlocks on Monday. It's Wednesday now. So today he can lunch, which I'm going to do next. And then tomorrow he'll go back to work, which is super exciting. I'm super happy to have that done and out of the way. We also addressed um, some of his hind end weakness, which looks like he just has um, some more arthritic changes and roughness in his right stifle, 
but um, so we injected uh, his stifle and hawk on his right side but not on the left side this time that side looks good so we'll see how he's doing from there today when I lunch him um, but real quick I'm going to uh, obviously I've had mismatched uh, stirrups on my dressage saddle and since we're getting ready to go to a combined test I wanted to get all of that sorted out my boss kindly gave me some Devacoo stirrup leathers but unfortunately they didn't fit through the holes on these stirrups. So I bought some new stirrups that have larger holes. These were just some really cheap, what are they called? Cavalcade. Um, they were just some really cheap ones I got from Riding Warehouse that I am hoping will do the trick. These single leather stirrup leathers are a little strange to me, to be honest. So I'm still trying to figure out, I'll be honest, last time <laughs> I had to watch a YouTube video about it, ironically. So this is how they are supposed to look. Um, there's like a loop down here. Sometimes when I try to figure stuff like this out, I feel so stupid. I don't know how we got all this through those leather, those stirrups, and I can't get it through this one. Okay. Oh my gosh. Hopefully I did it right after all that. A moment you can take this leather part off so I'm gonna guess that I'm gonna want to be on the longest hole since these are an extra small then you put it down like that voila okay I feel pretty much retarded because I didn't know that you could take that little leather buckle piece off and they would have fit these stirrups but it's fine we have some fancy new dress slash stirrups fine. Everything's fine. Dun, 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 dun. So, dun, dun, dun. I'm going to see if I can do the other one a little bit faster now. Okay, on to Mr. Doppler. Gonna get him out so we can take him for a lunch. He also, it's okay, buddy. You're okay. He also had a clip while he was getting his injections done. He is a wee bit of a naughty pony for clipping. He doesn't like his hind end being clipped. He tends to want to kick. Oh buddy, you look so handsome. Looking good. So he tends to try to kick you with his back legs when you go to clip him and obviously that's not gonna fly. So while he was sedated from getting his fetlocks injected, I felt like that was a good time to clip him. I wasn't going to give him a spring clip, but he just wasn't shedding his hair as quickly as I had hoped. So I just felt like while the vet is here before summer hits, it was, it was the best thing to do. So we got a nice clip. I think he looks really good. I... I blended his half face and then I gave him a hunter clip so I left his legs and I think I think it came out really nice and I definitely think he looks better oh you're so silly you're such a silly boy 
Do that cookie taste funny? He loves to lick. So what I want to do today is take him out to lunch, but I want to I want to let him warm up loose and see how he looks. But I want to lunge him a little bit in the psoas system too. more cookies. Not yet. You have to work first. Work before more cookies. So the lunge line is up there. Hi, buddy. Can I say hi to the Cody? No? Okay, well let's not run her over. line is up there so I'm just gonna take him up with his bridle on let him loose lunge first and see how he looks tomorrow we can go back to work so tomorrow I'm hoping to do a little bit of dressage and start to practice my test since we're a week and a half from the combined test I think I remember the test from last year I believe it's test A, which I definitely did in a vlog, so it should be pretty straightforward. I just haven't done a test with him, and after coming from doing dressage tests on a pony, the ring felt really big, and now I feel like the ring's going to feel really small on a horse, so... Here, buddy. Oh, look at that fresh clip. So handsome. I was a little bit nervous since I'm so OCD about the fact that he hasn't put on more weight. Granted, he doesn't look too terrible as of lately. Some days I need a film assistant because it's so hard to do everything and to hold a camera with only two hands. So I was concerned about his weight and the fact that even though he's a picky eater, he hasn't gained more weight yet. So I talked to the vet about it though and she thinks he has put weight on and um, we checked for parasites but that came back negative. He's all clear so the good news is he should start putting on some more weight soon and hopefully the grazing is helping him a little bit. I've been working really hard at grazing him every day. So I'm just going to let him loosen up for a couple minutes. Okay, now I'm blinded today, I need some sunglasses. Now that I know he's loose, I'm just gonna set up the Pessoa system. So today, since he is just coming back from his injections, I'm only gonna work him for a few minutes in each direction. Super boy. So if he wants to walk and use his body and his back muscles, I'm totally okay with that. Um, uh, a lot of the times when he starts walking, he wants to stop. So if he's going to keep walking, you know, power walking and using his body, I'm totally okay with him working these muscles at the walk. He just doesn't do this very often. Good boy. Super. The flies came out like nobody's business today out of nowhere. They're so irritating. My eyes are itchy. He needs his fly gear. It's that time of year, buddy. Good boy. Okay, so we're just switching directions. And again, if he wants to walk, I'm totally okay with that. He looks really good and fluid today. Clearly those injections help. My boss and I definitely um, are very happy to do plenty of injections because I just feel like the more you can do for these arthritic horses maintenance wise, the better they're gonna feel and the more they're gonna 
be happy to perform for you. So it makes me happy that he feels better. And just to see him this fluid is so nice. That's all I'm gonna ask of him today, given the fact that it's 80 degrees. But he was super and he looks great. So to finish up the vlog today, I'm gonna clean my tack that I've been putting off. So we're gonna do that. So the cool part about these Devaku single leather stirrups is that you don't roll them up per se. Instead, so you take this leather piece and you rub it up and you buckle the stirrups up on a more top hole. I prefer a traditional roll up honestly, but then they are hung a little more flush with the saddle. Lately we've always been ending the day with grazing so that he gets some extra snacks, hopefully it packs on some pounds. I know I sound like a crazy person, but we don't have grass turn out, so. See, that's the best we can do in New England, huh bud? Anyways, that pretty much wraps it up for today. I um, will hopefully check in with you guys soon and I'll see you guys next time.